Hello, goedemiddag iedereen. Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome everyone here in the Proximus Base Camp in Tubize. Na ruim twee maanden hervatten de Rode Duivels hun activiteiten met de twee volgende kwalificatiewedstrijden voor het EK 2024 op zaterdag 9 september in Azerbeidzjan en woensdag 12 september thuis tegen Estland. Dinsdag moet dat zijn, uiteraard. Als qui concerne nos Diablotins, eux, ils jouent leur match à Louvain pour le premier match de la qualification pour l'Euro 2025 contre le Kazakhstan. La sélection du nouveau coach Gilles Swert sera communiquée via nos réseaux sociaux immédiatement après cette conférence de presse et Gilles Swert sera présent dans le hall pour les médias. So having said this, welcome uh, Domenico Tedesco. I can pass you on uh, the floor because you will announce your selection for the next two games. And I think it has not been an easy one again. So hello everybody. Uh, Stefan, as usual, is never easy. So yeah, of course, also this time was not that easy. I will start with uh, Amin Aldakil, uh, Johan Bakayoko, Michi Bachuai, Arno Bodar, Yannick Carrasco, uh, Timothy Castagne, Kuhn Castells, <coughs> pardon, Charles de Ketelare, Zeno de Bast, Olivier Demain, Jeremy Doku, Wout Fass, Thomas Kaminski, Romelu Lukaku, Dodi Lukebakio, Orel Mangala, Amadou Onana, Lois Openda, Matt Sels, Hugo Sique, Arthur Theat, Yuri Tielemans, Leandro Trossar and Jan Vertongen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, coach. We will start with the questions about these selections. And we start with uh, Nico Lene from uh, PIX TV. Nico, here in front. Good day, Tedesco. Um, have you been monitoring the club situation of a lot of Red Devils uh, the last few weeks? Yes, I was very busy with it. Of course, uh, the transfer market is always interesting. Uh, I thought that it's just interesting when you are a manager of a club. But it's also when you are a national coach, believe me. Romelu Lukaku, uh, let's talk about him first. Was it a no-brainer to select him today, even though he only recently signed for a new club? Yeah, you know, first of all, um, we stayed in touch every day, quite every day. Um, I was close to everything what happened uh, at the very beginning in, in Milano and also then on the, on the transfer market, of course. and. I know that he was training. He was training with uh, Chelsea too, of course, but also individual. And um, I think for us, it was not a question to to invite him or not, because um, yeah, you know, I think you saw the last games how important he is, not just as a player, also for uh, the changing room. He's a leader. He's a top uh, striker and a top human, and that's why, for me, there was uh, no question if we invite him or not. Then we will see, of course, his, um, yeah, his condition when he's here, when we will train this two, three, four days, and then we will look uh, forward. Have you had talks with AS Roma about the selection or not? No, with Roma not. No. The fact that two of the other leaders, uh, Kevin De Bruyne and Thibaut Couture, are not there, is that important for these two games? It's always important. Always important to have uh, leaders, and um, we have we have uh, some leaders, and Romelu is one of it. And that's why it's important. Yeah. The issue with uh, Thibaut Courtois has there been a development there, or is it is the urgency not there at the moment because of his injury? Yes, this is the the, the situation, a bad situation, because injury is always uh, a bad thing, and the first. Uh, the thing I want to mention is that uh, we hope that he's very soon back on the pitch. This is the most important thing. Yes, um, we stayed in touch with him. We had contact, especially Frankie, that knows him uh, since a long time, you know. And uh, um, after that uh, conversation with Frankie, I also suggested um, a meeting. But the very next day he got this injury, so this is the situation and uh, the most important thing is that he's back on the pitch very soon. Thank you very much. I'll leave the floor to the colleagues. Thank you, uh, Nico. Next questions, please raise your hands so that we can pass on the microphone to the next uh, speaker. This is uh, Ludo van der Wallen, Niesblad, here in front. Ludo. Hello. Uh, what's your feeling about the situation uh, with uh, Thibaut Courtois? Do you think it's it will arrange it will be arranged or 
We will see. Um, this is the situation that I tried to, to explain. Um, the most important thing now is the injury, I think, and uh, to get well and uh, back very soon. This is the first priority and the rest we will see. Okay, uh, first uh, cap for uh, Hugo Sique. Uh, why? Uh, why, yeah, why? He's a right fullback. He's um, performing very well in the circle. He played a good uh, under-21 um, European competition in, in Georgia. Uh, the games we saw, he was he was very active. And uh, Alexis Salemakers uh, is injured. He got an injury yesterday during the training session with Bologna, so he will be out of the squad also in the weekend probably. And um, that's why we, we called uh, Hugo Sique this morning. A lot of Red Devils uh, made a transfer, some a big transfer, like uh, Jeremy Doku and Romeo Lavia, who isn't in the in the squad. Uh, what do you think about those uh, those transfers? Well, it's not my first job to to judge uh, transfers. Uh, it can be important for the. For yeah, the yeah, of course, of course, um, and um, it is always like this that players also try to to call the coach to find out the opinion of the coach and um, I always told them um, what is the most important thing is that they are happy with their choice and that they play that they have to play this is the most important thing of course in a short term it's not that um, important probably but on a long term I think especially for young players it's uh, crucial to play and uh, that's what I wish to all my players because um, they deserve and I think if they make a decision uh, they know you know the the new club they know the environment they spoke probably to the coach and they get a feeling that we never can can get so I think that everybody has to make his own choices and Romulo Labia isn't in the squad yeah we are in a very um, yeah, how can I say, frequently contact with uh, Chelsea and um, we agreed that it's not uh, possible to invite him because he's um, he's not that fit, you know, he needs some time and um, that's why he's out of the squad. And do you, do you follow the Champions League uh, playoffs with Antwerp and the two young guys in the midfield, Mandela Keita and Arthur Vermeeren? Yes, of course. Of course, I followed. I was yesterday also in the stadium. Are you Burger. impressed? Yeah, really good. Really good. I was um, really impressed about uh, the performance of the whole team, I have to say. They can really suffer and uh, punish the opponents in the right moments. So, first of all, I'm very happy that uh, we have a team that is playing Champions League. I think it's important for all of us. And uh, speaking about these two guys, they did really, really well. But these two guys... Uh, I mean, we have a press conference later with Under-21, but I don't want to tell you too much. But they can still play Under-21 and we have to find out the right moment when it makes sense to to call this kind of players. It's the same with uh, the Kuiper, for example. He can still play Under-21, he can perform there, he can play an important part there. And when is the right moment uh, yeah, to call them? And um, now we decided it's not the right moment. Thanks, Ludo. Next, uh, Peter van der Bem, Sportza. Hello, coach. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there are four goalkeepers. Are you aiming for a uh, temporary, or yes or no, number one? And will that be Kunke Stels? Yeah, we will see. We have um, some days, some times to, to speak to, to the goalkeepers to see also the performance on the pitch. And then we will take a decision together with Max Ovanski, the goalkeeper coach, of course. But is it your aim to, to have a, a, a number one or is it going to be... No, not necessary. I mean, we meet just uh, two weeks every normally two, three months. Now, of course, we meet again in October and there can always be changes due to anything, eh? any any circumstances. So for me, it's not that important now to, to say who is the number one and I honestly, I don't know. Uh, one last question uh, regarding uh, Thibaut Courtois. Uh, s s suppose he's, he wants to come back to the national team. When do you want to have an, an ultimate decision about whether he's going to 
continue with the national team or not? Does it have to be around New Year or can you wait until spring, for instance? I have no deadline, honestly speaking. You know, life life is too short to be, how can I say, too strict or busy with some situations. You know, we have to to enjoy it. And I think um, there is no deadline. There is no deadline. He He's injured now. I hope that he will be uh, on the pitch very soon. I think that um, he's in the best hands there. And this is the most important thing and all the rest we will see. Um, yeah. Uh, one more thing about uh, the strikers. You have a lot of uh, good strikers. Uh, there's also one in, in Ghent scoring a lot of goals. And he was, said, he said so in interviews, hoping maybe he would be in the squad. Has he been, been uh, considered? Yes, and he's right to, to hope it because he deserves to be on our, on our list. And um, yes, he was one of four strikers on the pre-selection. Uh, three we called now, he's the fourth one. I had a really good conversation with uh, his coach in Ghent, also with him, uh, with himself. And I think um, that he understood that, uh, yeah, he's, he's on our list. We saw a lot of games and it's always the question of which kind of striker we need. Probably, you know, after the matches we always know better, but uh, against which opponent we, we need, which kind of striker, you know. And obviously there are some differences between him and, for example, uh, Lois Openda or Michi Bachuai. And, um, but he's, he's there and important for his mind, for his head is that uh, he knows that uh, we, we know him and he's on our, on, in our mind, let's say. Thanks, Peter. Vincent Langendries, RTBF. Yes, hello, hello. coach. Hi. Um, two questions. One about the importance of uh, the comeback of Onana considering the, the absence of uh, Kevin De Bruyne. And the second question is about Carrasco. Uh, it's not totally official, but uh, um, he, he decides to, to join the Saudi Arabia. Uh, what do you think about it, about this championship and this potential decision of Yannick? Let's start with uh, Onana. Yes. <laughs> it's more easier, probably. Um, no, Amadou is very important for us. He's very important. We missed him the last camp. Even um, the team did well. Uh, we compensate all these guys that uh, were missing in the first camp. Uh, Leandro Trossa was not there. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne was not able to play and um, also Amadou. But he's important, yeah, for sure. Yeah, look, it's uh, the same answer as uh, before. I never judge um, a transfer and I never interfere. Or I'm, I'm, who am I to say, don't go there, go to this club or stay to your club? I never did and I will never, never do because um, the players should take their own decisions. And we are too far away to, to know the circumstances, you know. I just can tell you one, one thing that um, I also never judge the league without being there, without playing there and working there because also as I went... Um, yeah, to, to Moscow, for example, from Schalke, a lot of friends or, you know, Germans, they, how you can go to Russia? But they never played there or worked there. And I can just tell you that the league there is tough. It's not that you go there and, uh, yeah, you get every weekend uh, some presenters. So presents, you have to work out for it. And also the league there is very tough with uh, beautiful teams, beautiful stadiums. You have to be there to feel it. And I'm too far away to judge it. I just can tell you that um, everybody is free to take his uh, own decision. And um, it's not automatically that then a player is out just because he plays in Russia or he plays in Saudi. Um, it will not change the, the kind of player he is. The same situation with Wout Fass. He's playing in the championship. It's also a tough league and it's the same player, you know. And the rest then we have to see, of course. Okay. Welcome. No Here, uh, Fred Bleus, white shirt. 
Hello, coach. Hello, um, about uh, Yannick, do you have a contact with, uh, with him about uh, his transfer and you speak about the, the national team? Yeah, we are always in contact uh, with, with him and um, also with other players, yes, of course. You can uh, ensure him that even if he go to uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, he will continue to, uh, to come in a, a national team? No, I can't. I can't ensure anybody, even if he stays in Atletico Madrid, I can't ensure that he will be invited in, in four weeks because it's always up to too many circumstances you know, to make this list. It's not just who has the quality or who is playing, but also which position we need, um, which opponents, for example. So it would be too easy to ensure something. And I think as a coach, it's always very important not to ensure anything to anybody because um, things can change very quickly. But we know what we have with Yannick. He's a top, top professional and um, this is the... Um, the status quo now. What are you waiting from a player like uh, Hugo Sique? Uh, he's, uh, I think, the first time now with us. Um, he's very young. I just want that he's, uh, he's enjoying every training session, as I said also the last time about Amin, I think, and uh, Oli Demain. Um, because I think that uh, he will come and perform well. I'm, I'm sure about it. Uh, in his way of play? Look, he has a brilliant foot. First of all, he's able um, to, you know, to, to be dangerous with the last pass from every position, from outside, but also from inside. Uh, beautiful crosses, good set pieces, and um, I think a good mentality. So we will see. Just last question. Some players uh, have less rhythm. Uh, with the transfer or because they don't play in, the, in their club. Uh, are you worried uh, about that? <clears throat> no, because if I, if I check the squad, um, we are speaking about probably three, four, five players maximum. Um, but it's, it's also not um, the same for every player. So if you take um, player A, for example, had a a great preseason and played every game in the preseason and now he's just a substitute and comes inside 10 minutes 20 minutes but this doesn't mean that he has not the rhythm he has the rhythm just he's not playing and i think in this in for this camp because we all know that the transfer market is uh, long is complicated sometimes you have this kind of decisions that the player is not playing because he will leave the club we have to accept it so it's not that easy okay Yves Telemann, maybe one last one. Uh, Toby Alderweireld has a, a bad uh, injury at his shoulder, but did you try the last few weeks to convince him to come back to the national team, or is that chapter completely uh, closed now? No, he, he retired, and uh, he explained us very probably why he wants to, to quit. Um, and once I tried... I, I think you remember I, I explained our converse, conversation with with Toby, and that's it. That's why. But uh, now I'm of course very sorry for for him. Uh, he played fantastic uh, against Athen, and um, I hope he will be back uh, soon and uh, even stronger than before. Okay, thanks, Eve. Got a question from the part of the media. Geen vragen meer. No more questions. Nog eentje hier uh, onderaan, Ludo van der Wallen van het Niesblad. Heb je considered uh, calling uh, Simon Mignolet? Uh, no, no. Um, the same reason. He retired and he explained very on detail <laughs> and understandable for everybody why he, he wants to leave and he wants to retire. And it was not easy to, to accept it because uh, it was before my very first uh, camp and press conference and nomination. But um, he was right with, with all the arguments he had. And we understand and accept it. And now I think we have a great group of goalkeepers with a big potential. And um, I'm very positive about, about it. Okay, thanks Ludo. Last call. Geen vragen meer. Plus de question. Oké. Okay.
Oké, okay, thank you coach voor uh, being here. Dank u allemaal voor uw aanwezigheid. Uh, la Selection de Diablotin sera donc communiqué par uh, mijn réseau, ses sociaux, uh, dans quelques instants. Um, einde van deze persconferentie. Bedankt voor jullie uh, aanwezigheid en uh, vragen voor de coach. We gaan eruit met een uh, voorsmaakje van de nieuwe reeks Believe die we samen produceren met uh, Jubilair. En die dus gaat over het EK, het nakende EK... En de beleving erbij bij de fans en bij de spelers. De eerste aflevering met Dodi Luke Bakio is nu al te zien op onze app op jubilair.be, op VTM Go en RTL Play. En de tweede gaat over het afscheid van Eden Hazard en een van zijn meest bijzondere fans. Tot kijk. Mijn mère joue au foot. Mijn père a joué au foot. Je suis né avec un ballon au bout du pied. Un ballon dans le jardin. Mes parents se sont connus le football euh, sur le même terrain. Je serai toujours supporter de la Belgique. Et je serai supporter du, du beau football.